Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Deathmark Guest Expedition with Doey. And we just found a corpse, likely of the musician man, in this forest, um, with the help of the dog. So we, we're gonna go listen to some cassette tapes, but... Oh god, it's really creepy from the other angles. I don't like it. Oh! The Mark Barnes Scarlet! Half an hour left until death closes in. Oh my. Does that mean we're not gonna get a chance to go back? Are we stuck in the forest again? Good. <laughs> Out of nowhere, my mark oh, flares up geez. painfully. The intense pulsing setting my nerves on fire. Oh, crap, are we out of time? I bite my lip and look at Suzu. Suzu, <gasps> Suzu, hey, can you hear me? Y yeah. It's finally here. It all starts now. I grab Suzu and run. The spirit is closing in on us. We don't even have the cassette player. We didn't even listen to the anything. Can we yell? Wait. We drove away? <laughs> we drove away from what seemed like a final thing? <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're fine. Good, good, Where great. Did I get in the car to go somewhere? Regardless, I'm here inside it, gripping the wheel. Okay. The mansion. Oh, I need to go back there for now. I glance through the rear view mirror at, the, at Suzu in the back seat. Suzu is staring vacantly out the window with a slightly tilted head. The only thing out there is darkness. There's nothing to look at. This tape player is laying on its side in the passenger seat. I grabbed it from the back, meaning to play one of those tapes. We quickly arrive at Kujo Mansion. Even if I discuss it with Mary, it's probably best to listen to a tape first. I reach for one, but as I do, I notice something odd. What? Whoa, whoa, what's what? Are we having the finale on the road in front of a car? So, whoa. Well, we have the cassette player in the car, right? It's true. Are we fighting in a car? Is this our first driving one? We have. <laughs> Where are we? Uh. I'm on an unfamiliar road, like I took a wrong turn somewhere. No, it's not unfamiliar. I've clearly been down this road before. Oh my gosh. But the route I was taking should have had no way for me to come across this road. That's the only way I can describe it. It's impossible. What? <laughs> he just stops. C calm down. To, to see is to perceive light. Right? I must have made a mistake because I was messing around with the tape player. Uh, I wouldn't get lost on the way to the mansion. The, the, the I've last... been to it so many times now. I just missed the first intersection and ended up somewhere strange. That's all. That's what I tell myself as I make a U-turn. Okay. Dispel heartache. Oh, no uh, you're heartache. just shouting all the things right now. <laughs> no matter how many times I go back. Damn it! Oh my god, Why am I here again? No matter how I turn, I end up on the same road. Right, left, or keep going straight, I still return to the exact same place. This is ridiculous! I hit the steering wheel. Maybe it was because of my outburst, but my mark starts burning with pain again. This is bad. Really bad. At this rate, death will catch up to us while we're here in the car. Ooh. Having said that, we can't go back to the mansion. I don't think we'll be able to get out of this maze no matter how many times I try. Oopsie, sorry. In that case, what should I do? Where should I drive? Oh. Whoa. Uh, I... So, okay, these are the three locations for the, the phone booth. Um. We found the note, the suicide note, uh, in the mountain area, highway area, um, hmm. and T Mountain. Do we want to go to T Mountain? That was where we found the suicide note. Okay. And uh, because okay, okay, hmm? Christy pointed out she was like, "That's strange. Why we we why would we find the note?" In Here. this location and not where she supposedly committed suicide. So that seems significant, right? Yeah. So mountain? Yeah. Oh god. We've got no other leads. Oh god. I turn the steering wheel in the direction of the place that popped into my head. T Mountain. It's not that I have to go there. The destination isn't important, so long as it gets me out of this situation. I hit the gas pedal and abruptly turn the wheel, trying to get out of this cursed trap. Finally. Familiar scenery returns as if it was laying in wait for me. 
Was that good? I want. He said he seemed to imply that it didn't matter which where we picked. He was, was like, strange. it didn't matter where I picked. I just had to get out of the situation somehow. Maybe it matters in the end, like good, bad. God, Good, I hope ending. we choose correctly. In the end, log is so we're random. back here. I know, it's somebody moved that thing. There's like other branches there too. Who? The phone is ringing. I know exactly who's calling. <laughs> I wonder. We're fighting, we're fighting. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes in. We're, we're fighting, we're nice. fighting. I head to the phone booth. I've got Ada's radio cassette player oh, nice. and the bag holding Seiko's memories at the ready. Her memories are there too. Hello? I wonder what Susie's doing. I know, she's just standing out there like, uh, uh, yeah. I pick up the receiver, but the phone immediately goes dead. Was this the wrong location? Oh my God. Why? What? Why? Why? Why is it zooming in? Why? 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 Why did it zoom back out? No. Hi there. What's up, girl? Hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, girl. Oh, oh, you looking good. You looking fine. Hi. I'm scared. Hello. Can't even see her. Where is she? I don't know. What am I looking at? I don't know. Are those teeth? Do you want to read for the ghost? You saw, didn't you? I know you saw it. So what should we do at this point? Take a picture. Take your picture. Take, take a, picture. a picture. Take a picture. I'm seeing you. I'm capturing your form. She'll probably kill us. <laughs> quickly grab the instant camera and use the flash. Oh my god. Whoa, wait, wait, was that good? Was that bad? Spirit shrieks, and while it's distracted, I tumble out of the booth. We're actually leaving the booth nice. for this fight? Are you serious? Once once out, I spot out of the corner of my eye. The spirit's standing there, hey. looking down at me. It's the it's Pokemon, Pokemon section. <laughs> Here we go. Now it's less scary. Now right. I'm less afraid. Yeah. It was really scary being like, I, I was like, imagining myself in the booth and her just right there, <laughs> and it's like inches away. <laughs> I, that was really scary, but now it's less scary. The we camera need battery time to is acclimate dead. To her. Yeah, I know. What should I do next? We need to. We need to wait for her uh, to come uh, all the uh, way here. What? 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 Wow, charm song. I don't know. My. Okay. My. My. I'll dispel all of your heartache. Oh, wait. Maybe that was bad because it has the word I in it. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oops. Well. Oopsie. Uh, oops. I don't know this one. I don't know this song. It's not my jam. Spirit responds to the song. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 are we dead? I'm sorry. Wait, we're not dead? Are you serious? The spirit quietly drifts so closer. What should I do next? Wait, was that good? I guess so. Should we pick the songs that she doesn't know? Wait, I don't... Charm song. <laughs> I don't understand. I stick charm song in the tape player and press the play button. Our only clue is the last. Listened often, dear. The spirit responds to the song. Uh, do we just pick all of them and it doesn't matter which one sure. we pick? Yeah, let's just keep our spirit power. The spirit quietly drifts closer. What should I do next? The last one. <laughs> what, why? Why? What is with this segment? I don't understand. Let's just play the last yeah, one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. What the hell? I don't understand. I stick Echo Ballad into the tape player and press the play button. <gasps> I love... The spirit responds to the song by wailing very enthusiastically. <laughs> We have, that's all we have. We only have these songs. Whoa, that's a, sock, a weird a face. Is she chewing eyeballs? Whoa, I think she is. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's freaking me out because it kind of looks cartoony, but also like hyper realistic. Yeah. It's, it's really freaking me. I can't tear my eyes away from those <laughs> eyes. Oh my God. I'm going to, I'm going to look away. Okay. The spirit is right in front of me. Hey, let me listen to the newest what is the clue for this? The newest song? What? Because the... she hasn't heard it before, that therefore this yeah, is the okay. newest song, right? I stick my dot 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 into the tape player and press the play button. Yes. yes. Okay, go, go, do it. That song was finished. Did you hear those? I did. Those the guitar. The, 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 the <laughs> A dog comes bounding over from somewhere, barking happily. Go. Again, this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. He's waiting. <laughs> Why is this her voice? 
Wait, that was it? <laughs> that was the whole fight? Wait, nice. what? That was the first fight where we were timed. Whoa. Was that really? I, I don't believe it. That can't have been everything, right? There was like so much more information we had to work with that we didn't use. Uh, we didn't use. have any items other than that. It's true. That's true. But like we had like other information at the very we, least, I, right? We actually used all the information. Seriously? Except for the dispel all your heartache. What was up with the last? Maybe it was like, this is the last song that I made and she hasn't heard it yet. Mm. But she kind of, she's been telling us. She gave us hints. Yeah. She was like, I love this song. <laughs> 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 Wait, was that seriously it? Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I can't believe it. I, th I think we only feel this way because in the past we've had to mix plant roots with honey. Like we've had to like fight. Like we've had to use items. We've had to fight. That was umbrella like, shield. Yeah, like we had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. There's a flash of light. I blink, and the spirit is gone. Dun dun dun. Are we sure? Are we sure that she's not gonna come back? No way. No way. That can't have been it. I don't sense Hanayome anymore. We didn't even get to give her the letter. I feel like the letter was more important. Yeah, we should have like go, given her something. That horrible incident. Yeah, like the last remaining stuff from her fiance. Instead of, oh, the song. Anyway. I guess because he wrote that song for her after he'd passed away, or maybe, like before he passed away, after she passed away. Maybe the lyrics of the song are, forget that horrible incident. May maybe, <laughs> maybe. She's gone now, Hanayome. Suzu is back to normal. I bet their mark's gone. Mine's still here, of course. But mine's still bright on my arm. I guess Hanayome didn't give me my mark after all. Was Did it, it really not matter which location we picked? I feel like we that's picked the correctly. I, yeah, that was the only location that had something important about it. Right? Then well, we'll find out. Hanayome really was Seiko Hasegawa. What a sad, terrible fate. Turning into a ghost after she died? I feel sorry for her. This place isn't too far from where Seiko died. Maybe that's why. The instant Hanayome vanished, I thought I caught a glimpse of her loyal dog. I hope her dog and the song her fiancé wrote for her. Help her be at peace in heaven. Should we head back? Yeah. What? Uh -oh. <gasps> huh? The phone starts ringing out of nowhere. This must be the... the moment? It won't stop. It's like it's waiting for someone to answer. What should I do? Uh, pick it up. Pick it up? Yeah. Yes? The Buddha statues, by the way, they're, uh... Oh, I'm yeah! Just no, 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 she might tell us. Maybe? She might help us. Hello? Uh, unless this is Aetha or Christy. Uh, our, our heart pounding <laughs> is going away. Um... On the other end of the line is the gentle voice of a woman. Maybe it's her, her? normal. Seiko is a normal sounding person. I'm so very sorry for causing so much trouble. Wow, there's this ghost just talking to us really normally right now. What is happening? So very sorry, so much trouble. Please excuse me. What the frick? Was that a wrong number or something? I was a little panicked, but now I relax. <gasps> Suzu, where'd you go? I step out of the booth and get into the car with Suzu. Oh, all right, she's alive. Hanayomi just apologized to us in a very normal sounding voice. We didn't have the opportunity to like attack her. We only had the nice like way of treating her this time. What? 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 This chapter was weird. What the Oops. heck? Welcome back. Oh, I mean, welcome back, Mr. Door. It's thanks to you that my mark is finally gone. Too bad I didn't get to do much. Would he have said differently if we'd brought him? <laughs> Maybe. Because um, the other characters didn't like react to whether they got brought along or not. Like, um, what was the kid's name? I can't remember anymore. Small kid from the yeah. beginning. He didn't both, really react much. Here. Yeah. We didn't even get to go to his elementary school. Yeah. I read a ton of comics about exorcism, so I thought I could help. Good job to you too, Suzu. Everything went okay. Yeah, it's all thanks to him. They're, they're saying very specific lines about whether they got brought along or not. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> we definitely had to bring a female for the last That's bit. true. That's true. Uh, oh, yeah? I bet I could have done a better <laughs> job than him. Well, uh, stop being creepy, please. I awaited your return, Lord Dor. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations. Though it is unfortunate that your mark has not yet vanished. 
I've managed to defeat three spirits now, but <laughs> my mark still hasn't disappeared. It feels like that terrible fact might just freeze the blood in my veins. Oh. But I vowed to fight against the mark. All I can do now is press forward. I'd honestly go insane and die at this point. Just be like, nope, just take me, just take me. I, I can't take any more ghosts. Just take me. <laughs> Mr. Theodore, may I have a word? I looked through the other files in the garage after you left, and I found this. Is it about the fiance? She hands over a file that says H Shrine Findings on the cover. Saya Kujo's signature is in the corner. The Kujo fa uh, family's guardians were housed there, so it makes sense that this was here. Go on, read it. Okay, here we go. Most of it is about most of it is about how H Shrine was built and its history. It lines up with what Mary told us. Everything that happened from the anti-Buddhist movement to now to now is in is in here. I can't speak. Okay, here we go. But it looks like even Saya didn't know who stole the statues fifty years ago. Some pages are about H Shrine's Goshintai, the item that houses the deity's spirit. This shrine is two, a mirror and a small Buddha statue called Nenji Butsu. Okay, those seem important to write down. Mirror Nenji Butsu. Nenji Butsu. The Nenji Butsu should be in a brocade pouch. What's a brocade pouch? Huh. But I never saw anything like that at the shrine. I wonder where it ended up. Is that like a drawstring pouch? Is that what that means? The last mm. few pages contain notes on an investigation into the stolen statues. It mentions a rumor mm. that started circulating a few months ago. Ooh, this is his new new CG. K Miyamachi North Road, okay, in H City. It's a back street that, due to the city's poor planning, is covered in manholes. How? How <laughs> does this happen due to Four, poor five. planning? <laughs> you have to be actively installing these in this specific pattern. I don't understand how. How? Poor planning. Because of that, people call it Manhole Road. <laughs> nice. How? <laughs> How? Unless people oh were like going God. insane as they were installing yeah. this. I don't see how this could And you're possibly... walking down this road without care. Yeah, like what is... On a moonless night, a young woman was walking down it on her way home from work. An old sign read, <laughs> be wary of strangers. Or holes. Suddenly fearful, she <laughs> attempted to hurry her steps down that dimly lit back street. Oh no. But she couldn't take a step forward. <gasps> Ooh. A noise. Something heavy being dragged. And then... A figure was discernible from oh, out of ready? the darkness. Ready? It was a woman with disheveled hair, wearing a burnt white robe. She cradled a headless Buddha statue, as if it were her own child. The shadows and hair hid most of the face, but she could see her blood-red lips twisted into a satisfied smile. Terrified by the eerie oh, sight, she that? turned on her shield and ran away. Some distance away, she turned to look back. Maybe now? But the woman was gone. Okay. Maybe because they want to surprise us, you know, get a good oh. close-up later. The statues were stolen 50 years ago, so it wasn't that woman, but I doubt it's that easy to find headless Buddha stories. Statues. <laughs> I'm sure she must know something. I asked Tanayome where the statues stolen from H Shrine were, and now there's an unexpected lead. What a strange coincidence. If you can find those stolen statues and honor them at H Shrine, the divine wrath will be quelled and you might be freed from the mark. Another way that might possibly allow me to escape my mark. It's worth looking into, at least. Oh, before I forget, I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. You should, you should take these, too. Documents in the Has Hasegawa case that we found after you left. Oh, okay. More information? Read through them if you want. Hmm. It is almost dawn. We must end today's investigation. Please rest. For three days specifically before <laughs> you get attacked by another spirit. <laughs> Thank you very much, mister. Because of you, I think I'll get to see my dad, too. Oh, I'll get to go see my dad. Oh, what? He passed, uh, cemetery. Hmm? You need to go somewhere to see him? My mom and dad got divorced. Uh, oh, wait, didn't he pass away? Did she ask? Wait, what? Did she ask the phone, like, yeah. how to see him? Mom what? decided that she wanted to become a, a nun. She started taking me to temples and a lot of sacred areas. Dad didn't like that, and he started seeing some other lady. Uh, I understand. You don't have to say more. I guess Suzu's been embroiled in the world of adults for a while already. Maybe that's why she's so brave while being so young. 
She hasn't, she has not been. I, right? I don't know. I asked mom to tell me where dad is, but she wouldn't say. She told me he's bewitched by a demon and to forget him. So that's why I wanted to ask Hanayome where dad is. Uh, I see. I hope you get to see him. Me too. Okay, good night. What's up? <sighs> I'm really in your debt. It's thanks to you that Suzu was saved. Thanks so much. He seems more worried about her than himself. His appearance, personality, and job all make him <laughs> suspicious, but that one thing is clear. I know she asked me to, but I was the one who brought her out there after all. So if something had happened to her, I, I just... Oh, God! Wow! <laughs> hey, are you alright? I'm so glad she's okay. Wow! The hot tears <laughs> streaming down his face are those of relief, apparently. You should head to bed for today. I'm sure you're tired, right? Yeah, thanks. Even though I did all the work and we never brought you and you didn't have to do anything, I'm sure you're tired, right? Good night. Wah! All right, Christy. I'm heading to bed soon myself. My mark's finally gone. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. There's no reason for you to stay any longer. You're right. <laughs> I'll be leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Sorry, but even nine lives wouldn't be enough to survive staying here. You said it. But I'm grateful for all this, too. It gave me time to rethink my life. Ironic, isn't it? If I hadn't been cursed by a spirit, I'd be in that forest right about now. Chrissy's smile turns wry. Well, I'm off to bed now. Good night. We're not getting someone to stay behind this time. We can't be. <laughs> now then, Lord Theodore, please find me when you are ready. Farewell. Maybe the girl's mom is, um... Another victim that's going to come by? Or not a victim. Maybe she's a... a ghost? Creepy... Ghost assistant. Yeah, maybe. Um, we're at the end of the episode. Do you do you mind taking some time to look through this? Do you want to save it for the next episode? Because I want to do our customary end of chapter thing where we um look up other possible paths we could have taken and also like look through the info. Maybe we can save that for next time. Okay. We can save that for next time. Mm -hmm. All right. So join us for, for wrapping up, uh, finding some more information, you know, our, our customary thing. I want to know. That was so short. Short, yeah. We were expecting it to be like, it was leading up to be this very complicated, very sad, very, you know, heart-wrenching tale. I thought we were going to do some complicated stuff and it was yeah. really, really simple. It must have been going to a different location. Would have killed would've... somebody. Yeah, maybe. What? Weird. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. Join us next time. We'll see you then. This is Axis. This is Doey. Over, Over and out. out.